Hi, this is Alessio Rostani of Leading Trader. Hope you're well. A very interesting development here on the stock markets. In fact, the S&P 500 here, as you'll see, the major stock market index in the US has just made this week, as you can see here, the S&P has made recently new highs. The S&P here took out the January highs. These are the January highs here. And you can, as you can see here, we've actually breached those levels. We're above those levels. Now, as you probably remember, I've been bullish on the stock markets now for some time. As you'll see here, I've been bullish on the S&P and the NASDAQ. And as a matter of fact, we've just hit our first targets. Now, the question you're probably asking right now is now, given the fact that the S&P has made new highs, is that potentially a bullish sign or is that potentially a warning signal? Now, there's a lot of folks out there who think that when the stock markets make new highs, that generally is a warning signal. It's almost like a bearish signal. However, that is not necessarily true because you have to look at two other major indexes or the indices now these other indices we look at are first of all the Dow so let's take a look at the chart of the Dow now notice the Dow relatively weaker than the S&P we have yet to reach the January highs January highs are up there near the 26,600 levels and you can see we're not there yet. However, I think that Dow is playing catch up with the S&P, but I think eventually we're gonna get there. But there's one important index we do keep an eye on, and that is, let me show you, the Dow Transportation Index. The reason why we look at the Transportation Index is because of what's called the Dow Theory. And the Dow Theory says, it's important to keep an eye on the transportation stocks, in other words, companies in the transportation sector. Why? Because in the economy, transportation plays a very important role. So often, uh, because transportation is very sensitive to shifts in the economy, you've got to look at the transportation index. Notice that the transportation index also has made fresh new highs, as you'll see here. That was the previous highs of January, and we made new highs just recently. So given the fact that the transportation index is often a leading indicator for the stock markets, according to the Dow theory, this is a good sign. It's actually a bullish sign for the major stock markets. What does that mean? It means, therefore, that my target level, let me just go back to the S&P. So given the fact that we're seeing healthy bullish signs on the stock market, that means potentially by December of this year, I'm now looking for the S&P to reach 3000. Yes, guys, you heard that correctly. I believe that by December of this year, 3000 on the S&P is the target level we're looking at. Now, remember, we're not going to get to 3000 in a straight line. It's not going to happen quickly or immediately. It's going to be volatile. It's going to be a lot of ups and downs. So, yes, we are going to expect volatility, especially as we head towards the midterm elections in the US. So expect volatility, expect a lot of ups and downs. Um, there's going to be potentially a lot of retracements, pullbacks. You'll see the RSI right now is overbought. And given the fact the RSI is overbought, there's potentially going to be pullbacks, retracements back to the averages. So no, it's not going to be in a straight line, but I think potentially by the end of December of this year, we're looking at 3000 on the S&P. All right, guys, thank you very much indeed. And I'll see you guys in the next update. Bye for now.